All right, so everybody was talking about this Say Cheese interview with CJ on 32s and Say Cheese. And the biggest question everybody knows, you know, the drama part of it is, did CJ on 32 smash royalty? Um, what, what's your relationship with the uh, with CJ uh, so cool? Um, <laughs> because a lot of people, and this is this on the street, right? I know you may, don't be mad at me, right? But a lot of people feel like you, you like, you crossed him and was like messing with his baby mom. Nah, bro. I would never do no shit like that, bro. Like, well, of course he explained he did, and of course everybody that was watching him know he didn't really smash royalty. But the disloyalty of hanging around her when he knew about the drama between him and CJ so cool. But his response is basically like, hey, I knew her first. She never had no problem with me. They beef is they beef ain't got nothing to do with me. He was just being a friend. You we this is an exclusive, so you didn't hit his baby mom. Man, hell no, okay. bro. Like be for real. Bro. That, that was all in the oh, comments. Listen, like, bro, all the motion I got in Dallas, bro. Why would I need to hit my man's? Yeah, that's like I can't. Yeah. I don't even look at her like that, bro. And people, honestly, it's like people around us are saying, "Shit, if I was you, I hit that." Like she yeah. on that. Nah, bro. That's nah, solid. You hear the giggles? That's yeah. a prime example of who. So then he get into this thing where. He pretty much said about CJ Pillow talking about him to somebody in Dallas. And his homeboy, Marty, was like, hey, you probably should have smashed royalty. That's why he said hence to give him the back. So, of course, you know, CJ so cool that I heard about this whole interview. And he going to say something about it. He was like, my only downfall was trying to be friends with people I didn't know. Everybody ain't your bro or your friend. Remember that sometimes people just trying to get close enough to snake you. So we don't know if he's talking about CJ on 32s or Marty. But we do know that he got a hold of his interview and he know what's up. It was some more shit. Like it was some a lot of stuff like like happened out here too mm. that I ain't gonna talk about. <laughs> but it, it's in our circle and we know. Yeah. So yeah, like motherfuckers just do some some shit, bro. I would never do. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say some shit like certain shit. You don't pillow talk. Mm. So when motherfuckers certain pillow talking to people about you. That ain't straight. Now, Nike made this cryptic post, and the post all the shit aside. Sometimes you just have to tell people, look, I love you, and I probably love you forever, but no longer is the end the level of life you have to offer me, and because of that, I have to let you go. Now, you can stop pausing, read, and finish it here, but to me, this is like a relationship post. Everybody's saying the thing, this is something that she's sending to CJ because of the drama. I think it's maybe a tad bit of something in the relationship, and we just don't really know what it is, but it's something. But she can't. Stop co parenting with CJ, so can't be like I'm done with you. She still got to co parent with him. Still got to talk to him about Kamara. Kamara still got to go see him. So, talk a little shit close to me, but y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments down below. But, but, but I, he just uh, inboxed me the other day and I talked to him. We talked for a second, but our relationship, he just got a lot of shit going on, bro. So, yeah, like, I, I wish him the best. It ain't like no hard feelings, but you know, his shit started getting built off drama, so. Gotta keep he that gotta shit. keep it yep. going, gotta so what other way?